some apple. Then we start to transition into the the fruitiness of the berries, currants, raspberries, and then the wood kicks in. Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. And today I have Glen Breton Rare, 19 year old single malt whiskey. Wow. Over here in Germany, it's on sale at the moment. This is July 2017. I have no idea when I'm going to post this video. Um, it is 65 euros. If I'm correctly informed, you in Canada and America can only get this whiskey if you go to the gift shop. Hmm. So, um, I've already reviewed the 14-year-old Glen Breton in my last review. And now I have the 19-year-old and the next review will be about the 21-year-old. So you know a little bit of a history already, but if you didn't watch the first video really quick. 1988, um, Bruce Jardine decided to make a distillery in Nova Scotia. Canada, very, very top right-hand corner of the continent, and he wanted to make single malt whiskey. Unfortunately, his money was not um, sufficient for his building project. He went, he, he went bankrupt, and then a man named Lao Chi, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, McLean stepped in, became president, became one of the investors, and his relative Daniel McLean is now the master distiller. So 2009, I'm sorry, 1990, they first distilled the 20 barrels of single malt whiskey, which was the very, very first single malt distillery in, the, in North America. That's their claim to fame. So the barley they get from Scotland, it's imported, malted barley, 100%, no corn, no rye, no wheat. And um, the bottle, the barrels they get from JD, from Jack Daniels. What does my nose say? Mmm, nice. This is a whiskey that needs a, a minute or so to open up. Many of the people say, um, Ralphie, for, ex for example... A minute in the cask, a minute, a year in the cask, a minute in the glass. So we leave it in the glass. It hasn't been 19 minutes here, but you can do that. And it's also, also when you swish it around, a second in the mouth for every minute, every year it's been in the cask. So um, very small distillery in Nova Scotia, but they do send container loads of whiskey to Europe. And including this, the Glen Breton Rare 19-year-old. 43%. Um, a little 5CL bottle of this at the gift shop costs at the gift shop costs 21 Canadian dollars. I have a whole bottle here in my picture. It would be 65 euros, which would be maybe 70, 75 dollars at the moment. And you get five CLs for 21 Canadian dollars. I thought that was a little bit of a ripoff, if you ask me. It's very, very light. It's a summer whiskey for me. Um, the 14-year-old was more, even more delicate, more fine. It was a 14-year-old. This is a 19-year-old, and this is really, really nice. And I have a lot of berries. I have car currants. I have um, raspberries. I have blackberries. And I have, um, as I said, currants, blackberries, raspberries. I have the, an apple, a sour apple, maybe more like a Granny Smith apple. And I have a lot of grain, a lot of the barley here. A little bit of wood, a little bit of alcohol, but they really aren't contributing that much to the success of, this, of the nose. A little bit sweet. I'm really trying to aerate it here. I'm really giving a swish. Oh, the more I swish it around, the better it gets, actually. This is amazing. It needs air. It needs time to breathe. It needs oxygen. Oh, the more I do it, the more it turns into a creamy type of alcohol. I like that. That's very creamy. I, that's very, very nice. 
a creamy apple, a creamy currant, a creamy raspberry. With a, a hint of vanilla and a little bit of wood, not bad. So, the Glen Breton Rare 19-year-old 43% Celante, Celanche, or Cheers, as we say in the States. I have no idea if I did the 19 seconds or not. Um, nice. Not wow. The taste after I swallow it, there's a lot more wood than I want, and not the good wood. So I have a theory. My theory may be 100% absolute BS. Um, it might be totally wrong, but I think... I have a feeling that Jack Daniels sends their very, very best barrels to Scotland. I have the feeling that Jack Daniels sends their second best barrels to Ireland. And I have the feeling that they sent the rest, the third best, or the worst barrels to Canada. The wood in this is not really the best quality. Wood management is so important, people. And I really, really have the feeling that there were one or two casks in this batch that were off. There might have been knots in the wood. There might be some type of rot in the wood. There might be a little bit of decay in the wood. And it just turns into a bitter type of yuckiness. And it's there. It's not overpowering, but it's there. And it does influence my tasting experience. So I put it in my mouth. A lot of barley, a lot of some apple. Then we start to transition into the the fruitiness of the berries, currants, raspberries, and then the wood kicks in. And this wood is a sweetie, creamy type of consistency with a with a touch, with a hue with a nuance from a rottenness that really just takes this whole wonderful experience and just kind of, it kips, it, it tilts, it just, the tipping point, it tips over to something it should not be. And even now, the more and more I just kind of savor this aftertaste, the stronger this tangent type of acidity and the woodiness comes in my mouth. Ah, sorry people, Glen Breton, Glen Breton, rare, 19-year-old, gets, I'm going to give it a B- minus in spite of everything I said, I'm, I should do a C+, plus, but I'm going to give it a B-, minus. that would, I might be, as we say in Germany, complaining at a very high, high level, oh, by the way, Germans love to complain, whether it's too hot or too cold, the hotel is too small or too big, there's always something to complain about. There's always a hair in the soup. And they're very good at that. And we actually have the expression in German, you're complaining at a very, very high level. It's like 95% great, and there's this tiny little thing that we can still point the finger out and say, but that. And I'm doing that. I'm being a German right now. I'm saying, but that. And so I'm going to go really with a, with a, with a B- minus and say... Yes, but. So, um, 65 euros is not that bad for a 19-year-old Canadian single malt whiskey, by the way. I have the J.P. Weisers here, 18-year-olds. I don't even know if it's available in the States or not. Um, I paid 65 euros for this as well, and it was a dis disappointment. I expected a rich, creamy, nice something, and I got a weak, sad bland, not really, a, without any type of real character, 
a whiskey. I was so disappointed from this stuff. And I'm a little disappointed from this as well, but not enough to give it a C. It's a B minus. So the price value, value for price, is it worth it? 65, I would not buy a bottle myself. I'm going to give it a C minus for the level of price versus value. So Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of an American. Thank you for watching. Like. Subscribe. I have over 400 videos online in German. If you speak any German, go there. My goal is to review whiskey, at least at the moment, to review whiskey I cannot, a whiskey I cannot find any videos on in the English language. I couldn't find anything for the 19-year-old Glen Breton Rare Whiskey. And that's why I made this video. I couldn't find anything for the 21-year-old either. That's why I'm going to make a video for the next one as well. That's my strategy. Basically, I'm a German vlogger. I make my YouTube videos for the German um, audience. And every once in a while, I have the opportunity to provide additional information for the German, for the English-speaking community. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.